Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow peppers in Aero Garden Harvest 360. This variety is called Portepeno. This is a dwarf plant which usually stay under one feet. Let's see how this will turn out in Aero Garden. This plant will stay short but it will grow wide. So I am planning to grow only one plant in this garden. I got the seeds from Park Seed. I will leave the link in the description below. Please find it if you are interested. I am placing two seeds in this pod and placing only one pod. I am adding water. I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. That's it. The garden is ready. Let's see how this will work out. It's day 10. I see nice seedlings showing up. Looks like all seeds germinated. I see one nice seedling and I see one more catching up. The other seed just sprouted. So looks like these seeds have pretty good germination rate. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use aerogoden nutrition throughout this growth cycle. It's day 23. The seedlings are coming very nice. They started developing side growth already. That is really awesome. My original plan was to grow only one plant in this garden and I am still sticking to the same plan. I am going to split these seedlings and keep them in separate pods. Once I have another aero garden ready, I am going to shift one of these plants to the other garden. Wow, they have developed so many roots. I should have separated these plants a lot earlier. But let's see what happens. Lot of roots went through the sponge, so I cannot just pull the plant. I'm going to split it. I don't think I can use this sponge anymore so let me break it down so that I can save as many roots as possible. Alright, I was able to save a bunch of roots. Alright, I removed the sponge. It is quite a bit of work but I think it's worth. Now I am going to wash these roots and transplant them to new sponges. Now I am slitting and opening the sponges so that I can transplant. That's it. Hopefully, I am not upsetting the plants too much. Alright. I am done with splitting the plants. That's it. It's good to go. It's day 36. Look at this surprise. I see the flower birds today. Wow. Is it real or am I dreaming? And look at these plants. They are just one inch tall or maybe one and a half inch tall. Wow, this variety looks wonderful. Let's see if these flower birds turn into flowers and eventually turn into peppers. But this is really amazing, unbelievable. It's day 50. These plants were doing excellent, but I forgot to add water on time and I almost killed the plants. Luckily, they are coming back very nice, but losing all the flower birds, flowers and leaves. Anyhow, I see a couple of flowers at full bloom today. Not sure if they can survive, but I am very hopeful. Let's see. Day 55, one plant has come back very nice. I thought the other plant is dead. It lost all the leaves and even a few branches. I trimmed all the dead branches 
and uh, luckily it is coming back very nice. I see a lot of new development on this plant. Other plant is also showing lots of new development. None of the flowers survived so far but I believe the new flowers will survive. Day 60. I see the first baby pepper today. This is very exciting. And the plant has few more flowers at full bloom. So this is all going good now. If I took care of these plants well with proper watering, I could have harvested a few peppers by now. Anyways, it is still doing fine. Day 75. First pepper is getting matured and few more baby peppers are growing nice. Peppers are starting with light green color and they are turning dark green as they mature. I see lots of baby peppers showing up now. Day 80. Both plants are loaded with flower birds, flowers, baby peppers and a few matured peppers. This variety looks very productive. I already see tens of peppers and the plants are not stopping anywhere. Day 90. This plant is loaded with peppers and the first pepper is fully matured. It is very dark in color and it is not growing anymore. Few more peppers are very close to maturity and the plant is still producing lots of new peppers. Day 95. Look at all these peppers. They are lined up very well and looking so beautiful. Some of these peppers are ready to harvest. The way how I identify the matured peppers is by the color. Most peppers start with light green and they turn dark as they mature. With that, this pepper is ready to harvest and I am harvesting it now. Other plant is also coming nice and producing lots of peppers. I see a few branches are getting tall and touching the lights, so I cut the tops. Nowadays, I don't see any tall branches. Maybe the plants are focusing more on the peppers. Anyway, this is a dwarf variety and I don't expect it to grow any taller. It's day 100. Both plants are loaded with peppers. Many of these peppers are matured and ready to harvest. So, I am harvesting a few peppers today. This looks ready. This one looks ready too. Here is one ready. Here is the harvest. Very nice. Day 105. Lot more peppers are ready. It's pretty much a routine story from now on. The plants keep on producing peppers and I keep on harvesting the peppers as needed. These plants are not getting tired at all. Even though they are loaded with peppers, they keep on producing new flowers and they are turning into peppers. Very few flowers are falling off. Overall, this experiment is super successful. Plants are prolific and they are producing the peppers super fast. These plants are perfectly manageable in harvest models. They need little bit of maintenance by cutting the tops here and there. Other than that, we do nothing. I have been using just the aerogarden nutrients. Initially, I was using the recommended dosage which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle. But as the plants grow big, they started drinking lots of water. So, I started adding about 3 ml of additional nutrients every time when I refill the water. That's pretty much for now. I think these plants will go for a couple of months if not years. Most of the pepper plants I have grown so far lasted for more than one year. I will keep you updated with the rest of the journey in a follow up video. So, please stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.